Hi fellow developers, welcome back to the Qualcomm AI Hub video series. In these videos, we'll walk you through the first few steps of using Qualcomm AI Hub so you can start deploying your AI models to edge devices within minutes. In this video, we will show you how to target a specific runtime for compiling your ML model and submit a compile job on Qualcomm AI Hub. Let's review the three runtime options available when using Qualcomm AI Hub. Qualcomm AI Engine Direct, TensorFlow Lite, and Onyx Runtime. Qualcomm AI Hub allows you to specify a target runtime with which you'd like to deploy your model. By default, Qualcomm AI Hub will use the target runtime based on the source model. Here is the option used to specify each runtime. We will pass one of these options through as a compile option when submitting our job to Qualcomm AI Hub. Now let's go to our Google Colab notebook, which is already set up to launch jobs to Qualcomm AI Hub. For this example, we will use MobileNet, which is pre-trained by Torch Vision in their collection of models and is also on our getting started page. Next, we will load the pre-trained model and trace it. Then we specify the input shapes. We will simply call it MobileNet PT model. We are using a PyTorch model, but you could also use an Onyx model, an AI model efficiency toolkit, quantized AMET, or a TensorFlow model. We will have the option in the next step to specify which runtime we'd like to target. For the first job, we won't specify the runtime, but we will target a device. We'll choose the Samsung Galaxy S24 powered by Snapdragon. Then we will submit the compilation job. For the next job, we will use the same model and select Qualcomm AI Engine Direct as the runtime for the compilation job by simply typing in this target runtime function as an option. You can find the target runtime options and other compile options listed in our documentation. Here, you can see the options for overriding the default target runtime, including the one we used for Qualcomm AI Engine Direct. There are also options for output names, channel layout, quantization type, and more. Now, let's look at our compilation job with the runtime option added. Once we do that, we can go to Qualcomm AI Hub and see our jobs. You can now see that the option for Qualcomm AI Engine Direct as the runtime is displayed, and we have a .so file which is ready to run on Qualcomm AI Engine Direct. That's how easy it is to specify a specific runtime on Qualcomm AI Hub using compile options. Feel free to try this out on your own. And if you run into any problems in this process or have any related questions, please reach out to us on Slack by joining our Qualcomm AI Hub community. And stay tuned for more videos on Qualcomm AI Hub.